wanted to ask you about Facebook ads. So you you know you're going to be talking a little bit about Facebook ads in, uh, yep. in the talk in Vegas, but this is something that I wrestle with because you're the CEO of your company. You've got however many employees, dozens of employees. Uh, I, I'm in a similar boat. I've got a smaller team, but I find myself. I love Facebook ads so much. I, Facebook ads is such a cool tool. I and and because. I, I have so much insight into our audience, just like you, and you have this sort of mindset about, about how to how to speak to your audience. How, do you still find yourself as the CEO of the company diving into Facebook ads hands-on at this point, or have you fully removed yourself from it? No, and, and I probably sometimes to my own detriment, I still live and breathe that. Um, I do we do have some in-house uh, help with Facebook ads now. But fundamentally, that's what got me started in this industry, and it's the part that I still really enjoy. So um, I don't want to let that part go uh, for a couple of reasons. The first is is that I, I want to enjoy what I'm doing. So day to day, I want to come into the office and I want to be able to enjoy, you know, what I do for a job. Um, the second is, is is about staying relevant. The the landscape within it changes so quickly that if I was to take a step out of it and just you know be you know, a manager or a CEO for, for, you know, let's say a six-month period, it would be hard for me to get back into that. Um, and it would take, there would be a readjustment period. And because I know, you know, what I was doing six months ago, well, some of that still works, but there's, there's, a, there's a, a, uh, a percentage of it that just doesn't work now. It's, it's not evergreen. It's not, if it was... You know, if it didn't change so much, there wouldn't be new courses coming out every week on how to do it. So, um, you know, you gotta you got to stay relevant. And it's been suggested to me that maybe I spend too much time doing Facebook ads and that maybe I should step aside or retrain someone else, like replicate myself. And I'm happy to do that, but I still, I've still got to stay in there myself because otherwise it's going to be, like I said, you're going to become irrelevant. Yeah, and, and, and like I, I talk about this all the time, but... Facebook, yeah, it's just such a rewarding platform to work with and it rewards innovation so much. It rewards the more that you can push the edge in terms of the messaging and, and speaking specifically to your audience and the format and the sequencing and all, there's all these different areas that you can kind of move the needle on the business. Exactly. And look, it's, you know, whilst I've got, you know, an, a superstar that's in-house with me that helps me with, with the Facebook ads, like by no means do I say to him, this is, you know, the set system that you need to use and you're not to deviate from it. This is our set system, but I also wanted to try and innovate. And um, he's some of the stuff he's come up with because he just thinks differently to me, some of the stuff that he's come up with is amazing and stuff that I never would have thought of. So, you know, and, and stuff Same that point. I, yeah, stuff that I come up with and he's like, I don't even think that, that was possible. So, you know, we've got some really cool things that we're working on at the moment and, you um, you know that I'd, I'd love to share with people over in over in Vegas in a few weeks' time, but you know, like it was just a we thought of something, and um, yeah, we thought of something together. We thought well, there must be a way to do this, and um, it turns out that there is. It's not simple, but it's um, this really cool strategy on how to keep um, dynamic audience, custom audiences in Facebook of people who've bought specific products, even specific variants of products, if you want. And that constantly stays dynamic and refreshes and, and updates and it's always relevant. And it doesn't have that those issues that we have with Facebook custom audiences of, um, you know, they only will last for 180 days or we can't actually specifically create a custom audience for a, a particular product, um, you know, that, that's purchased. Like this is an audience that stays relevant and dynamic throughout the entirety of your, of your business life because it will constantly keep feeding into it um, and it's not manual. It's it's an automated process. It's not manual through, you know, exporting every day, every email that you've got for every different product and manually uploading them. So just, to, you know, if people are, other people are doing it, I don't know about it and I can't wait to share it with everyone. That's super cool. And that, that, that right now is it's like a system with like Google Sheets or something like that or is this an actual software tool that you're sort of thinking of building and putting out there eventually? No, 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 no. It's it's all free, and people more more, more people than than and um, more people than not will have access to it, and they just don't know that it actually is possible as yet. So 